great season. Not one thing to um, you can be disappointed in the day. But you win 29 games, the Big Ten Championship, you're in the Elite Eight. Um, today was not our day. Um, nobody expected that today. Um, but uh, they were phenomenal. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought that uh, it was a very good place at half. Uh, getting off to a slow start. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well. I liked our looks. I felt great about them. But, uh, yeah, what a great season. Hold your head high. This will be one that, uh, um, you know, they, they, they had a lot of fun. We didn't have bad days. I mean, they were a joy to be around. And like I said, I'm the most blessed person on the planet that I got to coach that group. How emotional were things in, in the locker room? Very, very. And I'm a very emotional coach. And, and um, the players get that way, and, and when you care about people, and uh, it doesn't end the way you, you want it to, it, it's it's very very emotional. And uh, uh, I'm the worst, and uh, uh, I love it, each and every one of them. They're all going to be successful. We just weren't today. Neither team was great on offense in the first half. In the second half, what did you see in that opening? I mean. It seemed like you're trying to. Well, we got good. We got good looks, and didn't make them. I and you got to score with them, and then they got out in transition. And, and uh, um, you know, it, it was Donovan was the difference. Um, you feel great at half. You know, they're they won three, and, and we're guarding, and, and uh, you know we couldn't get Terrence un get, get him going, and, and uh, but you know. Brad, how has Donovan just that much of a unique presence that you've seen all year? You guys were two of the ten in, on layups in the first half. Well, he's so athletic. You know, we, I mean, Zach's bigger, but he's he's just got a completely different level of athleticism that, that you don't see. I mean, that's why they all like him at the next level. Um, but um, yeah, he's they're 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 very good. And like I said, I I didn't mind the shots we were getting. Uh, you just have to make them, and I don't know, tired, whatever the reason, uh, I, I don't know. But uh, you know, and, and some of those cuts and some of those plays are plays that we've been able to do against uh, others. We just couldn't against him. The way Terrence had been rolling through this postseason, we surprised all that he wasn't able to get going. I, mean, I, I know you yeah. kind of a bowling ball towards the basket, but Klingon changed a little bit of that. To sure, sure, sure. That's what a great player does, and and uh, you know, he didn't have his best day, and. and uh, um, again, that 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 made makes their perimeter defense a little better when uh, when he's back there. So, uh, wasn't his best day, but uh, what a great great season! One for the history books at Illinois. How do you describe Coleman's value to this program? Elite, special. You know, he's right there with Trent and Io, and and you know the so many others. But he, he's he's a guy that's been with us four years. He's grown. He's shown him what what he can do in the basketball court you know especially here this season and um but uh you know not just as a basketball player but as a person and, and a great young man Brett, what can the young guys take away from this to, to propel it the yeah that's the whole that's the that's the lesson learned is uh one how the abruptness of the end hits you and how emotional that locker room is when you when you don't, but how good a feeling it is uh, to get so close and and to win so many games and, and win a championship. And um, we talk about winning a lot, and uh, we won a lot. Uh, today we didn't, but we won a lot, and I think all those guys have, have grown. And uh, I'm their I'm their their biggest biggest fans. Brad, am I wrong to assume that the talk this spring and going into the summer will be three wins short of the goal? Is that sure. part of the talking points? Sure. We're not talking about anything else in this program. We, to be honest, I, you know, it trumps winning a Big Ten championship. I mean, you can come to this program uh, to, to not win it. And uh, uh, you, you got a little sniff, and we, we've had some really good teams. And, and um, you know, we've got to just keep getting back. And I said it last year we lost in the first round. You just got to keep getting back. And that's what makes us special. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, recruiting in the portal. Brad, how will you attack the portal here uh, starting tomorrow, I would assume? Or even starting tomorrow? tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, know, you, got, you got us like a week behind. I, I mean, 10 days behind. I mean, it's the most absurd thing in the history of sport, by the way, is what we're doing in the portal while we're playing basketball. 
this is ridiculous. I've got one coach scouting and two just living in the portal. Uh, I'm making recruiting calls up and down this hallway yesterday as we're preparing for um, an Elite Eight game, and maybe that's my fault. But uh, uh, no, it's rea it's reality. Um, we'll we'll tackle it. We'll figure out what we need. Um, and uh, it's been great to us. You know, the University of Illinois has benefited from the portal as much as 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 any team in the country, and uh, uh, we've got a lot to offer and top offense to recruit to. And we'll uh, you know. We'll get after it. I think we got one or two maybe live days, and then we go dead, which is not so good. But um, yeah, we'll get after it. Fred, do you anticipate? I mean, do you think you and uh, Simeon are the only coach frustrated by the portal timeline here? Do you, you anticipate a push for a change in that? Well, if anybody has any sense, they will. This is the greatest event we have, and we're doing something to take away from that. It's absurd. Is part of that retaining your own players going into the offseason? I, I imagine it probably is. Yeah. How I was working about does that make your job in general, but especially this time of year? I don't. I just don't know why we're doing it now. I, I get it. Ninety-five percent of the country's done. But going to be punished for success. Well, it's the greatest event we have. We, we should we should relish these opportunities to to capitalize on what a great event we have. And uh, yeah, and you know, but. I don't want to get too much involved in that, as I already have, but it's the portal and uh, the timing stinks. I Brad, if here help you in that run? Sure, I hope so. I hope everybody wants to be a part of what winning is and what our offense is and what we've done and the uh, the uh, uh, success we've had over the last five years. We've been as good as anybody in, 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 in the country. And, and uh, uh, so, yeah, we, we've... I think we've got a lot to offer and great facilities and great fans. Brad, you said you always planned to get here, but being here, how did it feel? What was it like for you, for the program? Best ever. It's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. I am I mean, we had a great crowd that traveled forever to get here, and we've got the best fans, and we've got great facilities, great administrative support. It, it always makes me feel good when I look around, and it's not just coaches and players in tears. we got administrators. We've got support people um, that are so invested in this. And when you get that kind of investment, getting here is a blast. And we had fun. Uh, today was not was not it, but man, everybody got a little feel of that. And, and that that's so special. Great you said you love coaching this team so much. Did you learn anything from them? Uh, oh, Tom, what, what was that? I learned every year. I, you know, I mean, it was the, the, to join in and have fun with them. I, I mean, they made me a kid again. Um, you know, they embarrassed me in front of the whole world, making me take my shirt off and um, show my dad bod. But, um, I, you know, you, you got to enjoy the moment. Coaching's really hard. Um, it, it's, it's, it's helping young people grow. But this group never had a bad day. This group never had um, anything but joy. And, and, and that's something that not just in basketball, this whole world can use a little love, but I enjoy this group a lot. Brandon, yeah, a lot of guys were talking, Ty Rogers, especially emotional, talking about this is the last time we're going to be together as a team. For you as a coach, do you get that, that feeling? Does it make you emotional as well? Oh, I'm in tears. I've been in tears. Um, I, I dread last days. I, I la The last game, the feeling is awful, and, and one that you truly enjoy in, in terms of the team, when you enjoy them for who they are and not the basketball, not the wins and losses. Um, yeah, it, you know, I call it the abruptness of the end. It hits and that group will never be together. And I hope truly when they're brought back to Illinois in 10 years, 20 years, whatever, um, they remember how much fun they had. They'll have long lasting relationships. Uh, they'll remember a crazy old man that they brought along and did, you know, super soaker squirt guns with or whatever they're called. and and um, hoisting trophies and cutting down nets and um, yeah, it, it, it's 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 hard not to get emotional when you when you've got a group like that. Safe to say, Marcus Damask exceeded all expectations you had for him when he walked on campus. And more than that, yes, he's he's been nothing but an unbelievable player and an unbelievable human being with an unbelievable work ethic and uh, bought into. Uh, the University of Illinois bought into our program. Just couldn't couldn't have been any better.
could not have. There's not enough adjectives or superlatives to talk about Marcus Damask. I'm sure you touched on this, but Terrence Shannon just an off night for him. Tough time, tough time. Give them credit. We were when I hope somebody said over 19 challenging Donovan. That allows your perimeter guys to get pretty good and pretty aggressive. But uh, tough time. Great season. One for the record books at our place. What was his impact on your program? Right. Huge. You're talking about an all-league, all-American, great player, great, uh, uh, unbelievable competitor, a uh, guy that competed at the highest level in anything from Uno to uh, going against the scout team. And, um, you know, that, that – that transcends to every other person on that team that uh, they see that competitiveness. But uh, um, yeah, the great player got better, worked, wasn't afraid of it. And uh, my hat's off to him. Brad, were you ever worried about the distractions, the noise of this situation hurting you guys from getting where you could go? And how did you make sure that it did? Um, we talked it. We talked about it early, and then we played basketball. And um, all of that stuff was, this group was mature. They were so connected. Uh, we didn't have little clicks. We didn't have any other um, things going on. We just, we just coached and, and, uh, and they played. And it became, um, you know, about the next opponent and the next practice and getting better that way.